We are pretty good at wiring electrical systems and actually kind of decent at woodworking. And we've even done some welding on some fences and some stuff like that, but I can't sew. And Steph's not much better at sewing than I am. When we asked my mom who can sew to make bug nets for our old sprinter, that was actually the first time I ever heard her cuss. Sewing is hard and sewing netting is apparently really hard. So for this build, we got some pre-made bug netting from the bug wall, and we are going to be showing you how we install them ourselves. Let's get started. Dutch here from the bug wall. Today we're gonna go over our rear door garage screen. And with watching that 15 minute video in two times speed, we're now pretty much experts. And another great thing about the uh, bug netting and stuff like that is whenever I get drunk and try to like veneer the sides of these C panels back here and it looks like absolute garbage, this is going to cover that up. So that's an added perk. Let's put this up there. Yeah, that's right. So this is going to sit up here pretty much just like this. And the top of this Velcro is going to line up at the bottom of the weather stripping. We're going to get this positioned and then clamp it in place. Now this is centered up and pretty level. We're just going to back the weather stripping off. Underneath the weather stripping, there's a bunch of like grease and stuff. We just needed to wipe that off. And it comes with some 3M double-sided foam tape that we have to pinch, put our uh, fabric in there and then put our weather stripping back up. So now the weather stripping is down, the tape is up. Uh, we're going to put this up, pinch it over this piece of metal right here, and then the thick clips that are included with the kit, we're just gonna put the thick clips on over the bug wall to hold it in place. So just make sure that everything is really well lined up before you start clamping things down because these clamps are a little bit difficult to get back off, but you can get them back off if you need to. Perfect. With all of the clips on the top and everything secured nice and tight and level, uh, it's time to put the weather stripping back on. There's a little bit of metal in the weather stripping, kind of open and closed, and it's important to squish all this back together uh, whenever you take the weather stripping off of the pinch weld up there so that it still holds everything nice and tight. So we're gonna do that all the way across and then start putting this weather stripping back in place. With the weather stripping back on the top and everything looking perfect, I might say, we're going to start working down the sides in the exact same manner. And with that all wrapped up, we are going to just trim off the excess up here and then we'll be done. This is all wrapped up and it looks really awesome. This, uh, this part right here is actually kind of like padded or insulated or something like that. So it's really nice. Like there is no way I could have ever sewn something uh, that's this quality. So I definitely think it's worth the kind of high price tag. The uh, panels right here, they just kind of accordion up and get out of the way so you can get your bikes and gear out of the back. It also has a bed flap that attaches back here and gets tucked up underneath the mattress to keep bugs from flying up and getting under your pillows. It also has a weather flap to keep rain from coming in here if you need to have the back doors open, getting the bikes out, and it just Velcros up in place and zips down the side. And these can also roll up and out of the way. And this also has an interior privacy screen that gets, just gets Velcroed at the top and can also roll up and out of the way.
And this is all wrapped up and we're gonna move around to the other side and do the sliding door cover. So we are going to be working on the sliding side door now and uh, the instructions, we already watched those and the process seems pretty much the same. Let's get started. We've got thin clips, thick clips and tape, just like the back. Now with our tape in place, we can get the side door cover uh, also in place, just kind of centered up, the same as we did on the back door. This spot right here is super tight because our flooring actually comes all the way out and is smashed up against the weather stripping. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get a pry tool and just kind of smash it back behind the weather stripping because there's no way to actually pull this weather stripping out. And this side is all wrapped up. This side was a little more finicky than the back, mainly because of the way that we did our floor, but if you didn't do the floor like we did it, you wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> so we're really happy with how these work. You know, it's magnetic here, so you can just like kind of walk through and then it snaps back together. That's pretty cool. These roll up entirely and get out of the way so that if you're in an area where there's really not bugs, uh, you don't have to have these in the way. And they're really, really durable. There's no way I could have sewn anything like this. The netting is pretty thick as is the fabric around the side. So I think it's gonna last as long as anything else in the van. Special thanks to The Bug Wall for sending these to us so we could make a tutorial video about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.